Hello again, um, here's an update on my 72 inch uh, reef aquarium. Uh, I finally managed to finish building all the framework for the cabinet. So at the bottom we've got a uh, framework which will allow four acrylic sliding doors. And above the tank I've got what will be a large swing up panel um, which will be held up on gas struts. So so I saw one handed, so that will come up like this, giving me easy access. It will go all the way up to the ceiling. And then on this side, I've got double doors. Um, I haven't put the handle on yet, and I'm going to put some bolts on. So the door, it's not quite a bifold door, but for normal use, the uh, right section will open, give me access to everything I need to do. Um, I'm going to add a couple of bolts to hold the left section in place and then that will swing open as well. So I've got access to the water tank if I want. So it's hard to capture it all um, in shot. So I'm very pleased with that. So now I've got all the framework built I can order the acrylic which has to be millimetre perfect um, and put in all the, the clip in um, holders for the acrylic and then all the trims like this which fill up all these sort of gaps give me a nice neat finish so very pleased with it um, I think it looks the business I've been cycling my tank for a while um, I started off um, putting a, an aquarium net in in this sump with uh, quite a few uh, raw king prawns, let them rot away a bit to produce ammonia, uh, obviously monitoring the ammonia levels until that reached a, about two parts per million and then removed those. Well actually I removed most of them, I just put uh, a couple in the tank and buried them deep in the sand to slowly, there's one under there and one under there somewhere, to slowly rot away to provide uh, a slightly longer term uh, ammonia source for bacteria. Um, at that point I actually put in some ATM colony. Uh, I know you can use it by chucking in a load of colony, the, the right amount of colony and putting fish in. Well I'm going to be quarantining fish uh, so I just used a small bottle just to kick start the cycle uh, to provide some variety to the bacteria and to give it an initial population uh, and been monitoring it each day and I've been using Salifert uh, test kits um, for ammonia nitrite and nitrate uh, with, with the cycle the, the ammonia you get up to two parts per million and then as the bacteria start populating they'll start turning that from ammonia to nitrite and that level will go up and the ammonia will slowly drop and then secondary bacteria convert from nitrite to nitrate which raises uh, these two tests nitrite and nitrate are fine um, although you're only colour checking against one mil of water, uh, the colour change is strong enough, certainly uh, as the level go, goes up a bit, uh, it's strong enough to see quite easily. However, the ammonia test kit is a bitch. Um, the, the, the fluid is, is just a, a, a milky, cloud, it's like cloudy lemonade, and it doesn't seem to match any of the colours. I've had real problems trying to find out uh, what level it's on. Uh, and I've, I've had my, my wife and father-in-law also double checking um, so it's been really hard I'm sure the, tis, the, the test kit works well but reading the results for me anyway is a, is a nightmare um, so hopefully it will become clear that it's going down but I'm going to have to rely on, on when the nitrite is back down to zero um, and when the nitrite's back down to zero then the tank is good enough to put some stock in. Um, so I'll start with my cleanup crew. I've been running the cycle with lighting as I want to encourage my diatoms and, and an initial algae bloom as food for the cleanup crew. All, all those nitrates and any phosphates in the water have got to come out anyway. So I'd rather they came out now and I start dealing with them with the cleanup crew and my phosphate stop. Uh, I had been running the phosphate stop in a reactor 
in this, this sump section, uh, dragging phosphate out of the rock, but it stayed low. So I've removed that at least temporarily. So any phosphates can come out and help again, kickstart the algae. And then I'll put the, the reactor back online. Um, so it's just a case of waiting really. How, lo how long is a piece of string? I'm hoping within a couple of weeks time, uh, the nitrite and the ammonia will be back down to zero. And I've had, uh, I've actually got two, one sponge there and another one kicking around at the back uh, in the sump. So they get seeded with bacteria. So when I'm ready to go, I'll set up my quarantine tank using water from this tank and I can put in two uh, sponge filters uh, which are seeded with bacteria so it'll be good, good to process waste from uh, the first couple of fish in quarantine. Uh, one thing I've noticed since late yesterday, um, since the um, bacteria is in and the reactor is out, is I am getting this, this scum, there's a, there's a bit more there at the back, uh, which I can only presume is part of the organics that are being processed by the bacteria. Uh, I did have um, a misty um, bacterial bloom in the tank that lasted for about 24 to 36 hours, but that's gone now, leaving it all crystal clear again. And I'm not sure, but I'm hoping, and I don't think it will show up on the camera, but I think on the front of that bulbous bit on the right, uh, there may be just the first sign of a diatom bloom, but it will come when it comes. It's just a case of waiting. Uh, like people say, nothing good ever happens quickly in a reef aquarium. Well, I'll continue to give you updates as and when I've got them. Thank you.